Dive deep into timeless tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts. Your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversations. Lecture 17, Jeremiah's Struggle, Navigating Anguish and Cultivating Compassion. This lecture is characterized by deep emotions and pathos. Jeremiah's words are filled with a mix of love, anger, grief, and longing. He expresses his anger towards the faithlessness in society while simultaneously conveying his love and concern for a people who seem determined to destroy themselves. God instructs Jeremiah that his message will be both critical and constructive, aiming to expose entitlement and injustice while offering hope for the future. Similar to other prophets, Jeremiah expresses his emotions through poetry, particularly in chapters 2 to 4. These poetic verses depict God's tumultuous love for his people, recounting their journey from Egypt and the subsequent betrayal and infidelity. While Jeremiah confronts the people's unfaithfulness, he maintains a sense of love and desires reconciliation. Jeremiah's primary challenge is shattering the illusion of security and complacency that hinders reconciliation with God. He delivers a pivotal speech at the temple, emphasizing the need for ethical conduct and justice rather than relying on temple rituals for protection. He confronts the people's unethical behavior and dismisses the notion that the temple offers cover for their actions. Furthermore, Jeremiah questions the idea that being God's chosen people guarantees protection. He uses the metaphor of a potter and clay to illustrate that if the nation has become misshapen and social patterns warped, God can reshape and rebuild them. He emphasizes the need for change and adaptability as God's plans are contingent on people's response. Jeremiah's critical messages aim to dispel the illusions of security while also incorporating elements of hope and constructive guidance. However, these messages are mostly met with negative reactions and Jeremiah himself experiences a struggle with shame. He expresses his pathos through a lament moving from despair to hope as he finds purpose and strength in God's truth. The book of Jeremiah concludes with the country's collapse and raises the question of how hope can emerge from the devastation. Different prophets offer contrasting visions of hope, but Jeremiah envisions a future where survival and resilience are crucial. He challenges the notion that no change is necessary and emphasizes the need for his people to endure and adopt. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. Continue with us in our Bible as Literatures series. Unearth stories and symbols in a fresh literary light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner. Thank you for joining us on this profound journey through Jeremiah's struggle, navigating anguish and cultivating compassion. If you've been moved by Jeremiah's heartfelt quest for truth and justice, don't miss our next episode where we dive into the epochal shift of conquered and exiled, understanding the Babylonian conquest. Stay tuned to learn more about the raw human responses to one of the most pivotal events in biblical history. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you won't miss this continuing saga. Share your thoughts in the comments below and let us engage in this conversation together. For further study, check out the resources linked in the description. And remember, the stories of our past continue to shape our present. So join us as we uncover the layers of history and human emotion with conquered and exiled. Let's keep seeking wisdom and learning from the resilience of those who walk before us. 
Until next time, keep the faith and keep learning. Goodbye for now.